same time it put a bit of the pressure back because she's really the clear favorite so at the end nothing changed i tried to be the best every day i tried to be at my best at the olympics and this is what we focused on and hearing femke bowl acknowledge sydney as the crowd favorite to win the 400 meter hurdles gold has to mean something right that doesn't mean she'd make it easy for her american rival though at the same time she doesn't put so much pressure on herself after her explosive run at the Resisprint meeting in La Chaux de Fonds in Switzerland, though, it is as if she's telling the world not to count her out of the 400-meter hurdles Olympic gold just yet. Days before the Summer Games, she shared how she feels about her readiness. Simply put, world champion Femke Boll will head to the Paris Olympics in confident form, having taken inspiration from U.S. gold medalist Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone. Yes, you heard that right. The Dutch champion said that her strongest rival, McLaughlin Lavrone, had acted as an inspiration. Of course, we're friendly, and we're with the same sponsor, she said of her relationship with the American. We both realize that the 400-meter hurdles is not an easy event, so from my side, there's also a lot of inspiration I take from her. I know how committed and hardworking she is. She even sounds excited to see Sydney again even if they have to race against each other. We don't see each other a lot, but we'll see each other in Paris. Some say that Bull is well equipped to race against the American champion. While actually seeing McLaughlin Lavrone compete is a rarity on the circuit, it is fair to say Bull is everywhere. This season alone, she won the 400 meter flat at the World Indoor Championships in Glasgow in March before claiming two more golds and a bronze at the European Outdoor Championships in Rome in June. Then, there are her appearances at various track meets. When asked about her thoughts regarding her and McLaughlin Lavrone's differing race schedules, she said, everyone has their own way. For her, racing brings her confidence as well as opens her eyes on things to work on. I'm often a lot on the track, and that's how I like it, she explained. That doesn't mean that Sydney doesn't feel the same thing. In fact, Femke admires the athlete. It's inspirational and motivational how McLaughlin Lavrone's racing and seeing how she's raising the bar, she said. The moment you see someone doing it, something in your head thinks, maybe I can also do it. For sure, it's something that pushes me to become better and dream better on the 400 meter hurdles. And she is. Becoming better in the 400 meter hurdles, that is. Case in point, Femke Bull shattered her European 400-meter hurdles record at the Resi Sprint meeting in La Chaux de Fonds in Switzerland in mid-July. With this, she became just the second athlete in history to break the 51-second barrier after clocking 50.95. She basically slashed exactly half a second off her previous European record of 51.45, which she set in London last summer. Interestingly, Bowles' winning time of 50.95 also equals the Olympic qualifying standard for the 400-meter flat. Just so you know, only Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone has ever run faster with her world record performances of 50.68 and 50.65, respectively. For her part, Bowl, who was crowned 2022 and 2023 Women's European Athlete of the Year, now holds three of the 10 fastest times in 400-meter hurdles history and an incredible 13 of the 15 fastest times in Europe in history. With McLaughlin Lavrone focusing on the 400 meter hurdles at the games, it sets up a battle between two athletic superstars in Paris. It goes without saying that both of them aim to get that coveted gold medal. At Tokyo 2020, Bowl finished third on the podium behind McLaughlin Lavrone and Dalila Mohamed. Her recent win in Switzerland proves that she is just behind Sydney in the race to the top. As a matter of fact, Bowl now joins McLaughlin Lavrone, also 24, as the only two women to ever run under 51 seconds in the 400 meter hurdles. Bowl's time is now the third fastest in history, although the top two times still belong to McLaughlin Lavrone, who broke her own world record last month at the US Olympic trials in a time of 50.65. For context, the American ran the second fastest time in history at the 2022 World Championships, where she set a then world record of 50.68 seconds. Overall, Bull and McLaughlin Lavrone 
are so far ahead of the rest of the field that their times in the 400-meter hurdles would have qualified them for the 400-meter flat in Paris. Standing together but a long way from everyone else, their rivalry will be one to watch out for. The pair are set to cross paths for the first time in over two years at the Paris 2024 Olympic Games. That's right, the pair have had limited opportunities to race head-to-head -head since Sydney edged out Femke in the 2022 World Championships at Hayward Field. Last season, the American sprinter briefly switched her focus to the 400-meter flat. Unfortunately, she had to cut the season short when a knee injury forced her to withdraw from the 2023 World Championships. Her Dutch rival, on the other hand, dominated and won last year's World Championship in her absence. With both athletes now healthy and at their best, track fans will finally get to witness the highly anticipated showdown between the world's best. Whoever comes out on top, both athletes are set to push each other to a new height. A historic sub-50 second performance no longer seems out of reach. Although both of them are determined to bring home the Olympic gold, Sydney is on a mission to break more records this year, just as she did very recently when she knocked the athletics world for six one more time. She smashed the 400 meter hurdles world record with a fast time of 50.65 seconds at the US Olympic trials in late June. In just her fourth race of the season over the barriers, the 24-year-old Olympic champion sailed over all 10 hurdles with ease, then kicked into high gear for a breathtaking sprint to the finish line. Her astonishment was evident as she beheld the scoreboard, her time beating her previous record set at the same venue during the 2022 World Championships by 0.03 seconds. Just shock. Honestly, shock, said McLaughlin Lavrone, who covered her mouth in amazement when she crossed and saw the time. I know when it first came up it said 50.67. I was like, there's just no way. Then, the clock adjusted down two ticks. I wasn't expecting that time, she said. The time she saw next to her name confirmed that she had just lowered her world record in the 400-meter hurdles for the fifth time since June 2021. Well, this is the kind of brilliance Femke Bowles has to be prepared to go against. Still, the Dutch Olympic athlete spoke about competing alongside Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone in Paris. She expressed excitement about competing alongside the American athlete and also stressed on improving as she gears up for a fierce battle at the Quadrennial Games. It's great she's there, and it will always be exciting and always bring some nice nerves. But at the same time, I'm really focused on myself. I'm always just trying to be a better athlete, and then I just hope it will bring something nice to be battling with her," she said, as quoted by Sportstar. Needless to say, the clash between the two is much anticipated, and in roughly two weeks, we will finally bear witness to their rivalry, since the women's 400-meter hurdles, heats at the Olympics are scheduled for August 4, the semifinals on August 6th, and the final on August 8th. For now, take a look at other athletes who are about to have their passports stamped going to Paris.